and welcome to Kate's Coaching Corner, where every single week I bring you tips, highlights, and a challenge moving forward. So this week, I want to talk about a little gem of an extension called Refine, and it's something that the fabulous Amy Tagge told me about first semester, and I've been using it ever since. It's great because it takes any website that has a ridiculous amount of ads or distractions and just clears them out with one click of a button. So like with any extension, you're going to go to the Chrome Web Store and search for the extension Refine. Once you download it, it's super simple to use, and I'll show you how it works. So this is a website that has, um, like with any news article, you usually get so many different ads just over and over again. So if you tried to print this or share this with students, it would just be ridiculous. So with that Refine extension, you're just going to do one click, and like magic, it just gets rid of all of those ads. So I can now print this out instead of 12 pages, that might be two. Um, I could also have my students install it and then um, they would be free of those distractions with one click of a button. So if you have questions about it, please feel free to reach out. It's super simple to use and super awesome in the classroom. Next, I wanna highlight one of our speech pathologists, Kate Love, who is also a crazy expert in the world of assistive technology. And if you don't know, assistive technology can be low tech to high tech, any product or device um, that helps students that struggle um, to access their education a little bit easier. So she is a wealth of information if you ever need her. But she came to me super excited about a new tool in Google Slides um, that can really help a wide variety of students. It's called closed captions. So uh, I had her talk with me a little bit about how it works and how you might use it in the class. Sure. So Google has provided a feature to provide closed captions or subtitles for exactly what you're saying whenever you're presenting a Google Slides show. So this can be really nice if you have students who struggle to listen when you're <laughs> um, when you're just talking at them. So this way you can have them reading what you're saying as well as listening to it, which can help with attention. It can help with retention as well. And we're going to show you how to use it with Screencastify, um, which is what we're doing here. And then you can save it and use it for anyone. Awesome. So I'm going to push the buttons and Kate's going to kind of talk you through how you can set it up for the first time. Yep. So what do I do? It's super simple. So all you do is go to present just like you normally would. Right. And then down in your options, at the bottom of the screen, you have your closed captions button. And as soon as you click it, as you can see, it will start transcribing everything that you're saying. Um, and I have used this and seen it demonstrated in a pretty large room. Um, it will pick up pretty much anyone that's speaking, so you can call on students and have their speech transcribed as well. So thanks so much, Kate, for the wealth of information that you have about this assistive technology and for everything that you do for students and staff on a daily basis. You rock. Last, I want to challenge everyone. This is a great time of year, believe it or not, to try something new. If you have some ideas about what you want to do next year in your classroom on day one, try them out now. See how they go. Make mistakes. Use your coaches um, so that way you can really firm it up for next year and start strong. So if you have questions, you know where to find us. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I will catch you next week.